Hi, I'm Marilyn San Clemente of Stamp with Marilyn, and tonight I'm going to show you how to make this fun fold card in two different ways. Um, this is a portrait card, so this card is four and a quarter by five and a half, and the main image is on the front going up, so it looks like that when it opens up. And I'm calling it a trifold because it's got three parts to it. It has this part, has the main part, and then it has this this back side as well. And then this one is a landscape card. And as you can see, I used a landscape with it. But again, it's three parts. It's the same thing. It's three parts, but it's cut the other way. So it's the long direction. So it's four and a quarter um, by five and a half. So let me show you how to do the cutting and scoring for this. Okay, so we're going to start with three pieces. We're going to, so this is one sheet of cardstock. Um, we have our first piece that is eight and a half by five and a half. So just a regular standard card base and make some room here for my, the cutter or my, the arm on my cutter. Okay. And we're going to score this at half an inch. Two and one eighth. Oops. Okay. And six and one half, which is right here, just past this end, um, right here, half an inch from seven. Okay. So this is our card base. And then we have two pieces. The first piece is this front piece, which is three and three quarters by five and a half. And the second piece is this piece, which is five and a half by four inches. And this is going to become that back piece that folds out. So we're going to score this at two inches. And then I will show you how to put this all together. Okay, so we need our bone folder and we're going to fold this in. We're going to fold this in. And as you can see, it's it's similar to a gate fold, but not quite a gate fold. And then we're going to fold this tab back. Okay, and then the piece that we scored that was four inches that we scored in half, we're going to fold that in half. Okay, and now we can put our card base together. I'll show you how to put the card base together and then I'm giving you the directions for all the designer papers that go on this. And you can assemble the designer papers. You can add the designer papers before you do some of the card base work. For example, you might want to add this designer paper and this one. And this is a narrower piece because we've got that tab that we've used to put that first piece on. So you may want to put that paper on before um, you put the whole card together. But that's um, basically I'm showing you how to put the card together. So, okay, so we have this. Um, this is our right-hand side. And this is going to be that piece that folds back on the right-hand side, right here, like this. And so this will, I'm going to add adhesive to this. And you want to line this up so that the edge is just before the score line. You don't want it to be over the score line because then it won't fold correctly. And if something happens, like one piece is just a little bit longer, you can turn this over and put it back on your cutter and cut just a smidge off. There we go. So we've got that smidge that we cut off. So it's all the same height now. And then, so you would be putting um, designer paper here. You'd be putting your piece of white here for the inside of the card. 
you'd be putting designer paper here, here, and then also here and back here. So you're gonna have four pieces that are um, one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And then you're going to have, this one's a little bit narrower um, because we did this fold back here. So I'm trying to remember what this one is, um, but it is, it's in the directions. So print the directions off. And what I recommend for everybody is I just take extra cardstock and I make these templates and then I write all the instructions on the template. So if I want to make this card again, I just pull my template out and I've got the instructions. So I would recommend doing that as well. Okay, so this is going to be our front panel. So you would decorate this front panel. And then once you have it decorated, you're going to put your adhesive here. Oops, got a hair caught in my adhesive. And then you're going to line this up and you want this front panel to be centered with that card. So you want an even margin on each side. So I'm just going to push that down. You've got your margin over here. You've got a margin here. And then this folds up like that. It looks like that. And that's the portrait version of the card. And again, I have all the cutting instructions and I have the instructions for the designer paper as well. And as you can see, I might need to trim this a little bit because that part is just a little bit long. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and trim there. Okay, and now it's all even. Here we go. Okay, so there is our card base. And I decorated this one using the Spotlight on Nature, which has those really, really cool circles in it that cut fun patterns. And there's the card. And I used the Unbounded Love designer paper. And then my card that I made last night, I used the Birdhouse and the Country Woods paper and um, put the birds on. And then it opens like this. And this is from the Country Lace set, or Country Flowers set. And the Birdhouse is the Country Birdhouse set. So it's country, this whole suite is called Country Woods. And then I used some really nice embellishments for that as well. So there is my portrait version of the card. Okay, welcome back. So, we're going to do the landscape version of this card, and this is one that I made last night, and then this is the first one that I made originally. This one I used the, oh, Thoughtful Journey is the name of the paper, and it has that gorgeous, gorgeous landscape paper. And then this card, I used the New Ducks paper, and I don't know the name of that paper, um, but it's the New Ducks set, which is really cute. And um, it's got some really, really cute papers. So, and I, I like, I really like the way that came out. So, okay. So to make this, we're going to start again. It's a full sheet of cardstock. And so this is the template that I made for this card. And again, this card is four and a quarter. It starts with a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece. And let me show you how to cut that. Okay, so we've got a four and a quarter by an 11 inch piece and we want to cut three quarters of an inch off because we want it to be 10 inches and one quarter instead of 11. And it's time for me to replace my blade because I've got that funny, what is that called? It's like fluff, it's like paper fluff. <laughs> Okay, and so now I'm going to score this one at three quarters. Oops, I should have folded my arm out. Okay, at two and three quarters. And at eight and one quarter. Okay. And so that gives you your piece that is five and a half by four and a quarter. 
So you can put a piece of regular white cardstock in here that is um, five and a quarter by four um, to use as a as your base. That's what I did here, as you can see. Okay, and then we have two other pieces. We have our front piece, which is four and a quarter and um, by four and a half. And then we have our second front piece, which is four and a quarter by four inches. And we're going to do the same thing that we just did with the other card. We're going to score this down the middle at four at two inches on the four inch side. We're going to fold that in half. And I'll show you how to put all this together as well. Okay. So we're gonna score that in half. That's our extra piece. This is going to come in. Oof. I've got lots of those little fuzzies from my, so when this happens, you know you need a new scoring blade, or not a new scoring blade, a new cutting blade. My blade is not cutting correctly. My blade is too dull. And then this is going to come back like this. So this one doesn't quite meet as much as a gatefold does on the other one, but that's okay. Um, okay, so now I'm going to take this piece and I am going to attach this here on the inside. And so I'm going to line that up. And I'm just going to line that up just under or just at the score line. And then that will fold over. Okay, and you can see that I might need to do a little bit of trimming here. So we'll do that. Okay. Ugh, really fuzzy now. Okay, and now um, I would recommend decorating this side here and this side here um, before you put this last piece on, but this is that center piece. Okay, so now I'm just going to do this. And then this lines up. And again, I'm going to stand up. This is best if you're standing up and you're looking straight down on it because you want there to be an even margin on each side because you want whatever that paper is to show. So these are the two cards that I decorated. Oops. As I mentioned, this is the, the new ducky set. So I use the cattails on those margins. And then I use the lily pad and the frog. Isn't that cute? I love that. And then the little duck on the inside. And here I have the mommy duck and the baby ducks. Um, and then the same thing here. I used, I took one piece of this paper and I took the sides and put that over here. And then I cut the center for this and then used the top and the bottom here to do that. So it looks like one um, continuous design because it is one continuous design. So it's one sheet of six by six designer paper of a scene for six by six designer paper. So, okay. So have a great time making these cards. They're a lot of fun. If you want, post some pictures on YouTube also. Thank you. Have a great time. If you're not on my mailing list, go out to stampwithmarilyn.com and you can sign up there. Take care.